Hi, I'm Barry Sandoval, coming at you with some highlights of our November 16th through 18th Beverly Hills Comics and Comic Art Auction. We'll start off with uh, showcase number four from 1956. This is CGC graded 8.5, very fine plus. And of course, showcase four is the first appearance of Barry Allen as the Silver Age Flash and the book that started the Silver Age of comics. We usually have only have a couple of copies a year of this, and we haven't seen it in this kind of grade in a long time. Now, here's one we've never seen in this grade. It's showcase 22, 9.2. This is the single highest graded copy, and it's the first appearance of the new Green Lantern. Hal Jordan. Moving over to Marvel, Fantastic Four 5 from 1962. It's a near mint plus 9.6. This is the best copy we've ever seen of the first appearance of Doctor Doom. Here's Journey into Mystery 83, a near mint 9.4 copy. This is the first appearance of Thor with white pages, I hasten to add. How about Iron Man's first appearance? It's Tales of Suspense number 39, and this is graded CBCS near mint plus 9.6. We haven't seen a 9.6 with white pages before. Golden Age, how about Detective Comics number 31, the classic cover. There are so few unrestored copies out there and nobody seems to want to part with one. Well, luckily somebody uh, did here, uh, auctioned with no reserve, of course. Just two issues later, another big key, Detective Comics number 33. This is graded very fine, 8.0, and this is uh, the origin of Batman. Uh, an oversized uh, comic that a lot of uh, collectors have probably never seen. It's Master Comics number one. These are large, as I mentioned. These are sort of the size of Treasury editions, and therefore they were hard to store. You couldn't store them with other comics, and even tougher to find in high grade than other stuff from that era. And this is from the esteemed Denver Pedigree. Moving on to original art, we've had lots of great Prince Valiants uh, over the years. This might top all of them because it's the fourth ever Prince Valiant strip by Hal Foster from March 6, 1937. Silver Age art, it's uh, Steve Ditko, Doctor Strange, uh, Strange Tales number 125. Very few Ditko, Doctor Strange pages ever come on the market. Neil Adams was, of course, one of the masters uh, from the 1970s, and this is Detective Comics number 407. It's uh, Man Bat, uh, one of the earlier Man Bat uh, appearances. And a panel page by Adams. Uh, you remember uh, the Joker's Five Way Revenge, the classic story from Batman number 251. That's probably one of the greatest Batman stories of all time. Here's where he uh, realizes where the Joker's hideout has to be. And uh, I love the early 70s version of the Batmobile as, as envisioned by Adams. Carl Barks, uh, oil painting from 1972, and this is a play on four color number 408, uh, Donald Duck and the Golden Helmet. 1978, it's Walt Simonson and Joe Sinnott, uh, the cover for Thor number 269, and as you probably know, there's very little Simonson art uh, available on the marketplace. Here's Frank Miller, the wraparound cover from Electra Saga number four from 1984. Uh, and we'll step back to the Silver Age for a second, uh, and this is Murphy Anderson, showcase number 55, splash page. The good guys here are Dr. Fate uh, and Our Man, and uh, the bad guy, of course, is uh, Solomon Grundy, uh, who uh, you might remember from the Legion of Doom in later years. Those are just a few of my favorites. There's over a thousand lots in the auction, so be sure to check them all out at HA.com.